Jushi Holdings, J-U-S-H-F stock. This is a stock, that one of my top picks. Unfortunately, they've languished over the past couple quarters. Yet, revenues declining, they still pulled off a higher EBITDA number. This is important. Cost-cutting measures and other factors have contributed to this. Should they hit Jushi Holdings, should they improve their revenues as projected by analysts, given the increases in revenue over the next two years, the bottom line on JUSHF stock should send it higher. Let's take a look at some charts and I'll show you what I'm looking at. Here we start off looking at revenue. And as you can see, the past two quarters, we have seen a decline. Now, last quarter across the board, it seemed like all, all companies within the industry have been printing lower numbers. This quarter, however, throughout the industry, we've seen higher and higher revenue prints, which is great news for the industry itself. But within those uh, other companies, although they've been printing higher numbers, it's been a moderate mar gross margin scenario. Whereas Jushi, printing lower, has seen improved metrics across the board. Always good to see that. This is a company that, uh, if they're able to get that culture ingrained in them, that um, to milk out every ounce of penny in the revenue, when they do see their revenue gains, this could be big for them. Gross margins did inch up a little bit higher. They have seen higher gross margins previously, targeting 50%. And with more revenue, more units going through the systems, this could easily, they could easily exceed 50%, maybe hit 55 to 60 to maybe even 65%. I don't want to push it too hard. Nonetheless, if I've got the revenue projections in about what, three, four, five more slides, you'll be able to see that what analysts expect them to print in about two years based on their store openings and their production possibilities. So gross margins increasing, always good news. Um, operating efficiencies, this is a cost metric, operating costs divided over top of total revenue. If revenue increases and operating costs remain the same, this number, this chart here will slide downward. That's what you're looking for on a ratio basis. In this case, Jushi's revenue declined, yet so did operating efficiencies, which isn't bad at all. When you factor in that they also uh, saw higher gross margins, here is a look at their EBITDA solid, getting there. EBITDA is that first metric that you're really kind of watching out for to see, will this work? Because at this point, we get up pretty solid. Yeah, it looks good. Things could happen. Given this, moving forward, should they continue with revenue increases and there's no outside factors affecting what's going on, we could see EBITDA moving higher and higher. All they're doing at this point, using their foundation that they have, is scaling up, pushing more units through, uh, hopefully keeping that gross margins moving, inching up higher and higher. Want to see 55%, that would be huge. Uh, operating efficiencies, if they can hit between 15 to 25%, that would be massive. But the EBITDA print for me was a real solid indicator that these guys are going to keep push, pushing forward. Net margins, of course, were still negative. Um, even though they have EBITDA profits, they're still paying for their debts and things like this. Those kinds of costs fall below the EBITDA section, we will see a shift in what's going on from that. But here we see total equity. This is the one sort of cause of concern. First off, they're not profitable, so they have to take on debt to pay for their negative net earnings. You wouldn't necessarily pay for that out of cash unless you were that desperate. Um, assets, less liabilities. And if liabilities keep stacking higher and higher, you can see we're seeing a continually decline in this metric total equity. Should they turn the corner, then hopefully we can start seeing this turn upward. Hopefully we can see uh, refinancing of a lot of their debt to get their liability costs down lower, which would improve their total equity because assets would be able to move higher and liabilities would move lower. In the meantime, revenue projections. 2023, looking kind of slim. 
2024, analysts expect a bump up above 300 million, which would be solid. Then in 2025, uh, a little more than a 10% bump after that. Now, if you start thinking backwards to the metrics that they printed, lower revenue, higher gross margins, improved operating efficiencies. If you factor in higher revenue, increasing revenue, and they can maintain their gross margins and operating costs remain flat, we're going to see EBITDA grow further and further and then probably net earnings positive here. Uh, very possibly by the end of 2025, it would be awesome if it was 2024. The stock. They have no monopoly on this thing. Um, you can see the big spikes up October 6, right there in the sort of center left there. This is what we could have a pretty firm under, uh, guess as to what is possible once we get HHS to announce what they're going to announce. But if you keep looking further in December, there was a whole lot of hoopla about the potential of SAFE going through, which it did not. And then a whole bunch of selling off afterward. The next step would be HHS saying, this is our recommendation. This is where we believe medical should be scheduled, probably schedule three. So once they make that recommendation, then it's on the DOJ. Then, of course, it's an executive order and it's done. So, so when we look at this chart, you start to see possibilities of what kind of movements upward we could see. I don't expect huge, massive moves upward, but I do expect we'll probably see some pops upward. And then as time goes by, more and more buyers are going to start nibbling in and analysts are going to be sending out reports to investors saying, listen, uh, this boat has already left, but you can still catch up. So we'll see how JUSHF stock reacts to the news, which should be sometime end of September, end of October. I don't think we'll see it delayed into November or December. I think we'll probably see it in October. That's right around the corner. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. We'll see you in the next video.